Thank you so much for all your comments and messages on social media. I appreciate the love and I will respond to as many as I can. Ek het op die program begin met de boekresensie op een insetsel genaamd Bosbrokkies. En sê dit dan, het ek vele meer boekresensies gedoen oor ons fauna en flora, ons voorlewe, ons manier van lewe, oor aardsverwarming, oor alles en enige iets wat handel oor waarvoor ons staan, die mens en die natuur. Ek dink dit is dan baie gepast dat ons vir die laaste keer kyk na van die boeken waar oor ek maal was en wat vir my iets in my leven beteken het. Let me start with this family of books. The delicious series by South Africa's organic gardening guru, Jane Griffiths. Eight years ago, I reviewed this book, Jane's Delicious Kitchen, on the program. And as part of the review, I actually attended one of Jane's cooking lessons, trying out some of the recipes in the book. It was here where I discovered that Jane grows her own food. And before she authored this book, she had written one titled Jane's Delicious Garden. It didn't take me long to go out and purchase that book. And soon enough, I started my own food garden, which is still going strong. En toe kreeg ek die kans om vir Jane te ontmoet by haar te keur en haar wonelike tuin vir myself te sien. Ek was nog meer beindruk met hoe sy haar tuin volhoubaar hou dier die gebruik van grijswater en wormplase. En toe natuurlijk kom Jane's Delicious Herbs uit, wat die wonelike bijvoeging tot my groentetuin gemaakt het. Sinds dan, Jane Griffiths has published two more books, Jane's Delicious Urban Gardening and Jane's Delicious A to Z of Vegetable. Another book that has impacted my life in an extraordinary way is this one. The Elephant Whisperer by the late acclaimed conservationist Lawrence Anthony. What an unbelievably wonderful story. Anthony skryf oor hoe a trop probleem olifante op sy reservaat in Zululand beland het. Hy wou hulle aanvankelijk nie inneem nie, maar hy het later besef dat hy die olifante sy enigste heenkome was. In die volgende paar jaar het hy deel van hulle familie geword. In sy boek vertel hy hoe hy eers gesikkel het, maar dit later recht gekry het om een band met hierdie olifante te vorm. Die levenslesse wat hierdie trop vir hom geleer het oor loyaliteit en vryheid, sal hom die rest van sy leven bijblij. Leng wat die ang tint aga kool fouti mang nie zong ogus shia gwa ke Lawrence Anthony wunya gaga 2012. No guti action nin gwa ke ez inge ze zin zov ase ben ze gaan zi mga nga guz sin di si impilo za zo za ya e kaya la ke zi kombi sa ug zi la zi zi le la obe yi nga nye yom de nwa zo. And then an amazing thing happened in my life. Who knew that this heartwarming story of Lawrence Anthony's life with elephants would later become something so familiar in my reality. A few years ago, I met my favorite herd of Ellie's from the Rory Hensman Conservation and Research Unit. Chishuru, Shova, Nwanedi, Sean, Baby Zambezi, and a very pregnant Musina, who I was immediately drawn to because I myself was expecting my son at the time. As die gevoel wat ek krij in die teenwoordigheid van hierdie wonderlijke diere net een druppel in die emmer is in vergelijking met Anthony's leven saam met sy trop olifante, dan het hy inderdaad een wonderlijke leven gehad. The story of his life with his elephant herd is a very popular one and I was very proud to learn that it was the Rory Hensman herd that starred in that very famous commercial that was a recreation of his life. It seems fitting since the Rory Hensman herd is also a herd of what they called problem elephants that were saved. Jengo manje si sa se zweni la kwa zulu, ake nginchele nga lena ke ingwati esanda kisho. Isi kondi so sa se fildini, se zlime zimbili, kama koko agwe la kwa zulu. Le ngwati, ipalo nge singesi, kanye nesi zulu. Futi, yona ngwati okala eningizim Afrika, esi ya lela nge zindao zemvelo, epalo ngulimlo sinto. Pela, Benze la konu kwa ndi su luazi maelana, no kshuga shuga na ganyi, no gongwa kwa makoto agwa zulu. That alone makes me very excited about the book. So my interest in amphibians is sure to grow the more I learn about them. And you know what the best part is? I can get all the information I need from the comfort of my own home. No climbing mountains necessary. The OTR Fortunate Mafita Paka say that the book Verbrekers Friendlik is and hiermee stem ek verseker saam. 
Het is goed om te weet dat hierdie boek nog op die rakke is. En op daar die nood, kom ons vat de laatste minuut en geniet die hoogtepunte van mijn wonderlijke jaren op hierdie programma.